But first, federal leaders have gotten an earful from Canadians lately about the housing market. Whether it's apartments, condos or homes, many Canadians say they can't afford their rent or mortgages. The Prime Minister is unveiling what he calls an ambitious plan to change that. Justin Trudeau says that for, for it to work, it needs to be a countrywide endeavour. It's a plan that's actually going to make a difference in the lives of Canadians. But it will also require provinces and territories to step up and meet the level of ambition that Canadians expect them to. No one order of government can do this on their own. We all have our own levers and our own responsibilities, and Canadians need each and every one of us to step up. The CBC's Olivia Stefanovic joins us, joins us from Ottawa. And so, Olivia, it seems as though almost daily uh, we're getting these announcements on housing, federal government policies and plans to help Canadians out. That's, a, that's what they're saying. What's the federal government proposing today? So today, Andrew, the government released this document. It's 28 pages with a big goal to solve the housing crisis. Now, this contains the measures that we've heard of over the last few weeks, as you mentioned, with the Prime Minister, Housing Minister Sean Fraser crisscrossing the country, announcing tens of billions of dollars, promising this money uh, and new, new initiatives to address this housing crisis. But we're also learning of new measures, including what the government calls a historic shift to the way it deals with public lands. Now, the Conservatives have pitched an idea around these public lands, which are owned by the federal government, to actually sell off this land to build affordable homes. Now, the federal government has its own idea for this. It says it also wants to use public lands for affordable housing, but instead of selling the lands, it's proposing leasing the land for affordable housing. And that's because the government says that just selling the land and, and having someone buy the land is so cost prohibitive. So it's a barrier, and that's why they want to lease these lands instead. And the government says it will come out with an online mapping tool, an interactive tool soon, to show where this, these lands are in Canada. Another big feature of what we're learning today is that the government says it wants to tackle a mortgage fraud. It says it wants to work with the mortgage industry to develop a tool with the Canada Revenue Agency that would verify a borrower's income. So that's something it wants to work on, and that's something that will be developed perhaps later on. And one of the third big initiatives that we're learning from this plan today, Andrew, is, is uh, new money for apprenticeships, uh, apprenticeships, skilled workers, $100 million that the government wants to set aside to get more Canadians into those jobs, and $50 million that will be set aside for newcomers to have their experiences recognized as carpenters or electricians. Now, let's listen to the Housing Minister, Sean Fraser, talk about these big ambitions. We have a choice to make, not just as a federal government, but as a country, do we want to talk about the housing crisis or do we want to solve it? I want to tell you exactly where the federal government stands. It's time to build and we're going to bring Canadians along with us. So under these initiatives that are being announced today, Andrew, this is in addition to a national housing strategy that the Liberal government announced back in 2017 and was for $40 billion. And the government says that with these initiatives, the, both the national housing strategy and what's announced today, what will be in the federal budget next week, that the government says uh, 3.9 million homes should be built by 2031. And that will surpass targets both set by the Parliamentary Budget Officer and the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation. It is a tall task, without a doubt, though. How is the government planning to address provincial opposition? Well, so much of this work will rely on cooperation with the provinces and territories, and the government's already facing opposition, primarily from uh, Alberta. Premier Daniel Smith introduced recently a gatekeeping law that would block, essentially, these deals between the federal government uh, working directly with municipalities and striking deals on housing with them. Let's take a listen now to how the Prime Minister responded to those concerns. Ideally, we do it with ambitious partners in the, in the provinces. If the provinces don't want to do it, that just means there's more money to go directly to the municipalities. One way or another, we're going to be there to get housing built for Canadians. It just works a lot better. And to be honest, we can do even more as a country if the provinces decide to roll up their sleeves and get on board fully. 
And the prime minister noted, Andrew, that the government has already uh, made deals with some provinces, including B.C. and Quebec, which have matched federal dollars to build more housing in those provinces. And Olivia, there was a lot of cell phone action by the prime minister and ministers during the, the announcement. It kind of felt like, you know, when you're out to dinner and all your friends are on the phone or something like that, distracted by something. Well, they were distracted, but uh, it, 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 there was a reason for it. It looked like they were taking selfies uh, at least four mm -hmm. times during the federal announcement today. But what they were actually doing is voting in the House of Commons electronically, of course. They had to do facial recognition, use facial recognition. And this all has to do with the marathon voting session that is underway right now in Parliament. Uh, 200 amendments the Conservatives have brought forward to the Sustainable Jobs Act, which would uh, prepare energy workers uh, for new skills with the clean energy transition. Now, the Conservatives are against this bill, and they're trying to stall it, try to make changes to it. So that's why the Liberals had this marathon voting session. And we were told by uh, our CBC producer, Sarah C Sears, who was uh, on the scene for this pr announcement by the Prime Minister today, that there was actually a staffer at this announcement who would tell the Prime Minister, uh, the Finance Minister, and the Housing Minister when to vote, and would give them a thumbs up or down uh, on how to vote as well, Andrew. All right. It was, it was a little odd, but uh, that's, that's okay. Olivia, thank you. The CBC's Olivia Stefanovic in Ottawa.